Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my Sunday acrylic pouring. Today's video is, it's first, it's a technique I've never done before, but I really, really, really wanted to learn how to do it. So, um, I just, I watched every one of her videos. Um, a great poor artist, Erica Art, her channel's still up. She passed away this last week. I didn't know her personally, but I have followed her videos for a long time, and I have wanted to try this, and I'm doing it as a tribute today to her. But I will have a giveaway in the thing. Um, oh, shoot. Let me see if I can get this off of here. I have three of these little mini torches and not not counting the one I use um, and I like them so I, because I bought got them and got extras um, I thought well let me give them away so anyway let me say hello to everybody in the chat hello Linda hello Sarah hello Sally hello Mona hello Elisa Tater and Zoe. Hello, Kristen. Oh, Kristen, Krista, I forgot to put the link to Mix down below and mention it. Shoot. I will fix that as soon as we're off. Um, Elisa, one of your ads. I'm using Mix and Krista is the one that invented it. Well, her and Debbie. And um, she is... Um, um, it's it. She, you can buy it at Carpata dot art, which is C A R P A T A dot art. Yes, that's right. Dot art. Let me see. Uh, hello. Um. Oh, okay, Lisa. No problem, honey. Um, Krista, I'm gonna make you a, a moderator real quick. Hold on one second. That way you can um. Oh, uh, let me find you. There you are. Ah, uh, add moderator. And there you go, Miss Krista. Have a nice day, Elisa. It's fine. Krista's here. Krista will um, do this. And hello, Rochelle. And hello, sweet Janice. Um, looking to see if I missed anybody. Um, I can't scroll backwards in my chat. So, um, and hello, Shannon. So, let me get going, okay? Um, I mixed these paints up last night. They're mixed with mix, okay? Krista will put that in there in the uh, chat, um, you know, her little ad for it. And, yeah, see, and hello, Christine, or Christina. And hi, Alan, he's probably looking over your shoulder. Oh, you'll do fine, honey. You'll do fine. And hello, Debbie. Okay, let me get some gloves on and get started. Um, it was very sad that she passed away. And she was a great artist, but she also had medical problems. And, and she died from that. And she did a lot. She invented this technique. It's called the wave technique. Um... And hello, Brian. Ah, uh, let's see. Did I miss anybody? Okay. And um, she invented this technique. I gotta check my paints to make sure they're not um, too um, too um, um, thick. The ones I mixed last night. Thank you, Krista, and hello, Man Mangusian. <laughs> oh, he's washing jugs. Good job for him. Good job for him. Anyway, um, the first colors I'm using, I'm using the Deco Art 24 karat gold which is um, mixed with mix, and I did have to add water to it. But what I like about the mixes, not what I like about the mixes, you use a lot less paint. I love that part. 
Okay, so I'm going to try to put these in here the way she does. Hopefully I can do this right. Because I have been I've been binge watching her videos. And I bought these containers actually I bought them almost a year ago to try this and just never got around to it. Okay, that's the Deco Art 24 karat gold extreme sheen. And let's see. I see another name in there. Um, hi Nita. Uh oh, okay, Jan. Uh, let's see. And and hello, Gina Bina. Nice to see you. Nice to see all my friends here today, all my supporters and all my subscribers. You all are awesome. Hopefully, I don't screw this up like I did last week's, <laughs> which was a total failure. I let it dry. I'm not sure if I'm going to pour over it or if I'm going to embellish it or what. Okay, now, this is the Folk Art Treasure Gold Purple Topaz. Links to everything I'm using is down in the description with links to go where you can go get it at because I know that these specialty paints especially like the deco art and the folk art they're very hard to find in the stores okay this is Amsterdam expert permanent red violet because I decided to do this oh okay um Nita, send me a message over at doorsford at yahoo.com. Unless you're one in Canada. If you're in Canada, it's going to take a while. Because I shipped out three sets to Canada. You should have got a tracking number. And greetings, Tish. And I, even though he's not in the chat, I'll say, hi, Michael. So, let's see. And hello, Sam. Oh, Coco, <laughs> I can't wait to see that. I don't know where you might post it at. Okay, this is the Permanent Red Violet, but it's the Amsterdam Expert Series because Fiona said this in this color, the Expert Series is a little bit better. Okay, my paints might be too thin because <laughs> they're sinking a little bit. Well, we will see what it does. Okay, I should have never put those back there. And now I'm going to use some Master's Touch Crimson. You're in Oregon. I don't recall. Did you send me, did you send me a, a your, did I send you an invoice? That's, that's what I'm curious about, because if I didn't send you an invoice, that means I didn't ship them, because I, I didn't send an invoice to get paid yet. So, just email me over at doorsford at yahoo.com, Nita, and I will take care of you. Okay, let me put that right there, because I'm going to do more layers. Now, here's the star of the show. Amsterdam Reflex Rose. Krista absolutely loves this color. I love this color too, and I think Fiona loves this color. Okay, I'll have to check Nita after the uh on the after the uh, live, okay? I cannot go in there right now, but I promise you. I have about, oh, an hour before Fiona goes live, so I will check for you real quick. Okay, let me see. But still, send me an email with your information so I, so I know what, how to look for it. Okay. And for those of you that want... The to, to win the torch, I will put names in there. Hi, Deb. Oh, let's see. 
looking to see if I missed anybody. Okay. This, these paints, I think, are thinner. Maybe I shouldn't add water to them last night. <laughs> um, these paints are definitely thinner than what I've seen um, Erica Art use. But we'll see how it comes out. I'm going to do three layers total of all the colors. So... We will see if that should be enough paint in here. And if you have any questions about this technique, this is my first time doing it. So all I can say is we'll learn together. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound right. Oh, torch me, ha ha. <laughs> okay. Um, as soon as I get this filled, I'll clean my gloves off and I'll put the names in there before I um, do the pouring. It is, uh, it's free, but it, um, you have to pay the shipping because if I paid the shipping, every week on these things, I'd be broke. I mean, I love you guys, but I want to eat. So I need, I need money for food. I think I made these too thin, but we will see if they come out like hers. Okay, and now my reflex rose. Oh, okay. Thank you, Linda. And hello, Sherry. Nice to see you here today, honey. Come on, stop dripping. And I know that's what he said moment. Or that's what she said moment. Okay. One more layer and then I'm going to type the names in the wheel before I pour this out. Okay. Note to self, this needs to be... this. Well, we'll see what it looks like when it pours out because of the way you do the wave technique. Okay. You can go back there because I'm done with you. Hi, Patricia. And let's see. Did I miss anybody? I think I got. I think I said hi to everybody. This is the folk art um, treasure gold line, the purple topaz. This stuff is expensive, but it's so worth it. It is so pretty. Okay, done with that one. Did I? Oh, I thought I just dripped on the canvas. Okay. The only person I know not to put in the giveaway unless she wants me to is Tish, because Tish got a really cool dragon torch. And this little torch pales in comparison to her dragon torch. Okay, I'm going to put you over there. And this is the Master's Touch Crimson Red. Stand up to reach over there. And this one is the Reflex Rose. Now, I think I got enough paint in here. But she always uses a lot of paint, too. So, maybe that's the trick to it. I don't know. So, 
Okay. Now, okay, rag to clean my gloves off. Come on, chair. Follow me. My chair won't follow me. Okay. Let me bring up the list of the wheel and names. And let me start typing over there. Okay. Uh, and if you see me type your name and you don't want to be in there, tell me. I'll put you in there, Krista. Okay, let me see. Uh, Sally. She needs a chance. She needs one. She's a new pourer. Um, okay, let me come back over to the chat real quick. See if I... Okay. Oh, oh okay. Okay, uh, so I will take Coco off. Uh, I'm going to add Linda. I'm going to add Rochelle. Uh, let's see, who else? Oh, and take Brian off. Okay, um, okay, so I'm going back over here. I'm going to take Brian off. Oh, might help if I hit the right key, huh? And I'm going to take Coco off. And I'm going to add Linda, Mona, which is Art Flow by Mo. Oops, what did I just do? Okay, let me come back over here. Oh, take you out too. Okay. Oh, add Sarah. Okay, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take Patricia off and add Sarah. I'm not doing it yet, okay? I'm try just trying to get a l pretty good list of the names on here. S-A-R-A-H. Okay. D is anybody else wanting to be Janice? Oh, okay. I'm going to add Janice. Janice is wanting one. Because I'm going to show you how neat this thing works when I torch mine. J-A-N-E-S-E. -E. Oh, I guess it would help if I put the N in there, huh? Okay, Janice. Oh. Okay. Anybody else that I missed? Uh... Oh, add Deb. Well, I'll put D&D. &D. And Joanne. Okay. Let me add Deb. I mean, I will look. Okay. D and D. And J-O-A-N-N-E. Okay. I will bring the list back up after I... This might, this I might can learn to understand you much better sorry, if I can sorry. get familiar sorry, with the way you talk. I need this. your permission to How help. How do I close this? There we go. Sorry, I don't know what I just hit, but I hit something that was trying to... Um, oh, and Julie's here. Okay, I'm going to add Julie real quick. And Rochelle. Okay, sorry I missed you, Rochelle. Um, so let me come back over here real quick and add Julie and add R-O-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Okay, those are the names I got. I'm not spinning it yet, okay? Um, and Shelly Shelley and Christina, would you guys like to be on there? And Gina, Gina, do you want to be on there too? Okay, I'm going to get get on with the painting. Um, if your name wasn't on the list, type in all caps, me, 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 okay? So I'll add you. And if your name is on the list and you didn't want to be on there, tell me that too in the chat and I will get back to it. Okay. I don't think this is going to look like one of Erica's, but... 
Okay. Um, I'm going to, shoot, I'm going to go this way so I can see what I'm doing with it. Now, I know she starts pouring it out at the edge. I'm pouring too fast. No, 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 no. It's coming out way too fast. Okay, there is a there's got to be a trick to it. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. You got to hold it straight so it comes out in a big row. Okay, this is not as easy as it looks. Okay, and I've got a lot of paint in there, so I have seen what she does with extra paint. She goes up the sides. But I'm glad I got extra paint because I need it to be able to go over the edge. That doesn't look like a wave. That doesn't look like a wave. I even have paint left in there, but maybe after the live, I'll pull out a little canvas and put it on there. Um, okay, first I'm gonna torch before I tilt. Okay, I'm looking at the chat. Um, I'm looking to see if I see any me, me, me's. Oh, Jeff. Jeff, do you want to do you want to be entered to win one of these? Okay, this has got a safety lock on the back. You pull this down, and you got to pull it down every time when you're trying to light it. And maybe I need to turn it up a little bit. Come on. This is not funny. Light. There we go. And now I'm also going to turn on the automatic so I don't have to keep holding it. And I'm just going over, popping air bubbles before I tilt. And that turns it off. That up is on constantly and that goes down that's the safety switch and you got to pull that down every time before you hit that okay anybody um oh okay uh komodo okay let me go over here real quick jeff did you want in and okay did i get i didn't get gina in there let me put Gina and K O M O T O and how about you, Jeff? I didn't see Jeff say yes or no. I'm not drawing. Oh no, thanks. There it is. I see it now. Okay, let me show you the list real quick that I got. Uh, Okay, this is who I have. You probably need to read it over to the right. Okay. Um, did I get... Okay, I got Sarah in there. Okay. Um, well, let me tilt. Let me tilt. I got enough paint. I can tilt a little bit. I didn't exactly get the waves that she gets. But no matter how much goes off the edge, because I got quite a bit of paint on here. But this is a deep canvas. And now off that 
corner. Oops. Okay, let me check my little corners. It definitely doesn't look like one of her waves. That could be because my paint was so thin. So I will be trying this at another time. And I will be using thicker paints. It was mixed, so I was afraid of it um, doing that. But God, look at that. Look at that transparency in there. Checking all my, all my edges to make sure everything's covered before I go wiping my bottom. Or wiping the painting's bottom, I should say, not my bottom. I'd never do that on camera. <laughs> I'm wiping the bottom of the little painting. I thought I saw, let me see. I thought I saw some more air bubbles. Okay, let me bring it up for its close-up before I take off my gloves. I am absolutely in love with the way these colors mixed on here, Krista. Mix is good for mixing. I love it. Not really any cells, but that's okay. I wasn't trying for cells. Okay. <laughs> I got to move my chair without getting paint on it. Well, I can't turn the thing. Checking my absolute corner edges just to make sure okay let me put this little baby down you got fed you got your bottom wiped time for a nap and take my gloves off but first I want to do this real quick so I don't have that paint mixing with the other colors. Okay. And, okay, if your name wasn't on the list, tell me now in the chat. Angela's here. I'm going to put Angela on there. And I'm going to put um, Sarah on there, too. Uh, Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, um, and Karen. Okay, let me get back over to my wheel real quick. This is to win a torch. Winner pays shipping. Okay. Angela, say R-A, the other Sarah, K-A-R-E-N. Deb, I forgot to put you on there. Did you want on there? I don't think, um, De Debbie, not Deb, I'm sorry, Debbie. Debbie Pryor. Okay, let me bring it back real quick. This is what the giveaway is. It's a torch, brand new. You need, you're gonna need butane, but, butane to fill it, okay? Because I won't send it with the butane. You can't send that in the thing. And Pam's here, okay. Let me put Pam in real quick. I see Pam. Okay, 
D A M. Okay, is everybody on there that wants to be on there? Oh, okay, no thanks. And I got you on there, Krista. Did you want to be on there? I'm sorry. Okay, is everybody that wants to be in there on there? And everybody that doesn't want to be on there, speak now or forever hold your peace. Okay, well, okay. It's to win. Yes, ma'am. Keep you on. Okay, well, I'm keeping you on. I'm keeping you on. Okay. So, good luck, everybody. This is for that little mini torch that's got a safety switch and an on and a constantly on. So, here we go. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations, Mona. I have your address. Uh, I think I know your, um, I'm going to remove your name in case I give away another one a little later. Because I still have, I have one more painting I want to do. So, Mona, I will send you an email. Oh, let me get back to this. I will send you an email a little later today. Uh, after I figure out the shipping, I got to put it in a box. Okay. Because I do not trust the Postal Service. Everything I ship has to be in a box. I do not trust them with anything else. Okay. Let me see where I can put this at. I'm going to put this right here. Well, I can't fit another painting on there. These 12 by 12s are a little bit too big to fit two on there. Okay, here is my second canvas. These are 12 by 12 gallery wraps. Uh, I'm looking to see, did I miss anybody? Okay. Um, so let me put some gloves on. I got a, another container. Now I'm going to do it with a with the colors that Fiona Art did not too long ago. She did it in a split cup. And I really, really like the split cup colors. Um so what I um what I did was was I mixed up the colors last night. Because the star of the show of hers was the garnet, okay? The Deco Art Extreme Sheen Garnet. Your husband went shopping and ran away. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to start. Let me move these lids out of the way. Let me kind of put them over these where they belong. This is the gold. This is the permanent violet, red violet. This is the crimson. Some of these are empty, but I'm just putting the lid on them so the lid stays with them. Okay, I think I'm going to start with the Deco Art Extreme Sheen Garnet. This is so pretty. I love this color. This one might be, oh, these might be thin too. Okay. I watched her and I watched her and I watched her the, oh, the last couple of days trying to get this right. So I may have to do, do try to do the wave again with, um, with thicker paints. Okay, that's the Deco Art Garnet. Let me put that right there. Get the lid out of the way. Uh, 
I think I will put the Pebeo Iridescent Blue Green next to it. Well, whoever's talking about the, the, the UPS and FedEx being good and FedEx being bad, my FedEx probably even worse. I live at, my address is 201 North of, a, of Water Street, and there actually is a building that is marked 201 South. And FedEx thinks that 201 South is 201 North, so my packages keep going down there. And Amazon gets in that habit too sometimes. Gotta tell you a funny story. I did get an Amazon package delivered to, to my door yesterday. It was a gallon of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. And I made a comment. I made a comment to the guy about how I was so happy to find it on sale. Like, uh, almost $20 cheaper than the, um, than what, than what you would pay for it at Michael's. And he said, what is it? And I said, well, it's Liquitex gloss varnish and I use, or gloss pouring medium and varnish and I use it in acrylic pouring. And he says, I know what that is. Guess what? I got my Amazon driver as another sub yesterday. <laughs> It pays to be a chatty Kathy with your drivers. You know, he came in, he looked, he 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 especially loved the uh, resin cutting board that I did the other day. And he subbed and he said when he got off work, he was going to look at some. I don't know if he's ever going to be brave enough to say hi in my live chat. But it would be nice. We're a friendly bunch here. The ladies don't bite. They will say hello. Ask Jeff. Jeff will tell you they're friendly ladies. <laughs> right, Jeff? Okay. I'm looking to see if anybody, if anybody new comes in, let me know so I can, um, because I think I'm going to do another giveaway. I have, I have a second one. Well, I have two more, but I'm not going to give both of them away. Okay, this is Amsterdam Prussian Blue Phthalo. It, it's, it's just so pretty. Oh, that was, let me see, that was the Garnet. The Pebeo Iridescent Blue Green, and then on top of that was the Pebeo Iridescent Precious Gold. And this one is Amsterdam Th Prussian Blue Thallo. And it's not sinking, so maybe I'm maybe these are the right thickness. Because I did, I noticed you want a layer. You don't want it to sink. You want the layers to stay separate. Okay. I'm going to put you right there. Okay. And the last color is Amsterdam's Venetian Rose. This is such a pretty pink. Almost border to me, it almost borderlines on a coral. And all of the paints in, the, in this one, too, are mixed with mix. Uh, what I like about mix is it's seven parts mix and one part paint. Now, I only had to make four ounces of each color, so I put a half ounce of paint in and three and a half ounces of mix, and then I added water. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm looking at trying to read the chat, but that's trying to read the comments, the funnies. Because I saw somebody say uh, um, that um, Alan has dishpan hands. Poor Alan. Poor Alan. 
Do we pick on him too much, Christina? See, I not only do the painting and mixing of the paints, I also wash the bottles. That's why I, that's why I stopped using bottles for right now and using these disposable cups. <laughs> now this time, I'm only going to do two layers to see how much paint it is. If it doesn't look like it's enough, I can put thin down one of these and make it a flow extender around the side. Because that that other painting had a lot of paint. I have a lot on my on my board. Or I should say my tray. Come on. Drip. One more. One more. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Get off of there. <laughs> I had a drip that just wouldn't let go. Or let's say the cup wouldn't let it go. The drip just didn't want to fall. No, no, no. Don't put me in there. Don't put me in there. And believe it or not, I talk to my paints like this. I talk to my paints all the time. <laughs> Am I weird? Oh, no green today, Brian. That's a blue green. And this is a, this is, this is a, to me, this is a Prussian blue with like a little bit of a green shade. That's what it almost looks like to me. But no green today, Brian. I don't know if anybody remembers or not. Oh, it's been a couple months, but that one painting I did that had nothing but greens in it, I did that on purpose because I gave it to Brian. I shipped it to his house because he wouldn't let me drive up there to bring it to him. I don't bite, Brian. Okay, and the last color is the Venetian Rose. Drip, drip, drip. No more. No more. I'm not waiting for you to come off of there. Let me move these over here. Okay. Let me see where the other one at. Where did I put them at? Okay. I know I have two more of those. I put, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. It fell down in front of the couch. Okay. See, I got a second one. So, anybody that wasn't on there that wants to be added, let me know. Is there anybody that wants to be on there? Okay, well, I'm going to do the drawing. This is for the other torch. And I got all these names up there. And the winner will pay shipping. So, let me go over to the page.
Congratulations, Angela. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. You're not going to know who that was because that was an accident. So, congratulations, Angela. One goes to. You know, I need to write these down because I do forget about them. And then I and then you know then you know what I gotta do later? I gotta replay my live in YouTube studio to make sure Mona Angela. Okay. So here's Mona's and well, I just dropped it on the floor. Here's Mona's and here's Angela's. I got the name. I just dropped it on the floor. You can be a little clumsy when you got gloves on. Okay. So I will send you out a request for what your shipping is when I box it up. Okay. Now, let me get these lids out of the way real quick. Cover up these paints a little bit so they don't dry out. There we go there. Okay. Well, here we go. Here's my second attempt at one of Erica Art's waves. And hopefully, now this time I'm going to hold it one-handed and try to make sure... I hold it straight. Now I'm getting something that looks like waves. Okay, I'm going to go around it a little bit with the leftover paint. Give it a little bit of flow extender on either side in those colors. Ah, I can put some more right here. Because this paint, this paint, these colors will probably end up coming off. Well, see, two layers was enough. Enough for this. Okay, let me let you drain. Okay, I gotta pop air bubbles because I'm not sure if those are air bubbles or something else. So, switch on. There we go. Yeah, those were air bubbles. I love this. I love, I've been looking for something with an easy automatic staying on switch or a continuous switch. I was almost getting ready to resort to um, a torch like Mina uses. <laughs> Because my hand was just having the hardest time in the world holding it off. Okay. Let's stretch this little baby out and see what she looks like. I got more waves than I did in the other one.
Okay, stretch it over here. Yeah, I got more waves in this one. I'm going to use that pink to push that red off because that red doesn't look good right up there. Come on. Over the side a little bit. I didn't want to lose too much of the pink, but it looks like I'm going to. Trying to get some paint there to help the other paint come down. Well, I think I got waves this time. What do y'all think? What do y'all think in the chat? Fiona! Oh, that's fine, honey. That's fine. I I need more practice at this technique. This, this is my second one, and I think I got better waves this time than I did in the other one. see if I can cover this corner this one Fiona is your color combination the color combination you use with the garnet and that split cup that I fell in love with the garnets in this Let me finish my corners real quick uh, before I bring it up for a close-up. This one, what's the consensus in the chat? Did this one, does this one look more like waves? Oh, thank you, Linda. Yeah, transparency alert. You got it, Krista. Well, when you're trying to do a technique, um, you want to get the technique to look exactly like the technique you're trying to do. So, yes, the other one was pretty, but it wasn't waves in my eyes. That's just like when I do Fiona's flowers. If... If it doesn't turn out like one of hers, I try it again and keep practicing. Okay, let me bring Looks like I got all my air bubbles. So let me bring this little baby up for a close-up. Wipe its bottom. It's been fed, so I'm going to wipe its bottom before I put it down for a nap. I love, love, love this garnet in here. Okay, for some reason, for some reason the lighting is not all that great. That glare... So, I am very, very happy with this one. 
and I knew Fiona would love the colors because they're her color combinations. <laughs> it's that garnet in there is what makes it look good. couple of little places where some canvas was peeking through okay well I think this is about it I gave away two torches I did two paintings actually got the waves but I am going to mix some new paint and I am going to try oh bye Brian yeah you're right Tish have a great day, Brian. Um, so I look at it this way. Um, this one to me was not a fail, but I am going to try it with thicker paints. I think that might have been my problem. So. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, Fiona goes live in two hours. Well, a little over two hours. And I will be live again Tuesday night at 6 p.m. doing resin. I should be able to unmold those uh, resin cutting boards that look like beaches. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, okay, bye, bye, Deb. But um, I will let everybody go, um, and I will see you guys um, maybe at Fiona's, but maybe I'll see you Tuesday. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. There's many ways down on the ch down on the description to support the channel. Doink, 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 doink down there. And if you're watching the replay, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button up here and check out these other videos over here. Whoops, over here. And all I can say is you guys are awesome. I love the fluid arts right out of you. Thank you for joining me and have a great day. Bye for now.